And you can see here we have the area of immediate vicinity of Detroit up here. Frenchtown and so on is off the map here, but here we have Brownstown. I see. And so what we had here was a spot that was pretty much in the middle of nowhere on the American side. It's about 17, 18 miles up here to Detroit. It's another 17 or 18 miles down to Monroe. Mm -hmm. Hull kind of made the mistake of not fortifying this. He was building blockhouses and garrisoning troops as he went, but he hmm. didn't build any fortification here. Mm -hmm. So he, right across the way here, you have what's fo called Fort Malden. Uh, nowadays it's called Amherstburg. Amherstburg, mm -hmm. Ontario, uh, right across from uh, Bob Lowe. Any of us mm -hmm. that are uh, have been around long enough to remember sure. uh, Bob Lowe, yeah. just a short jump across the river. Mm. So this was the weakest link. This was, I have called it the, the jugular of the Great Lakes. So the English could blockade that and cut off everything in the Great Lakes. They're two miles away from where they want to attack and we're 18 miles away from what we want to defend. I see. So anybody who could look at a map could realize that the axe was going to fall here and indeed it did. So this is about two miles north of where our corduroy road is located, but it's part of this, this mm -hmm. roadway that was running along the shoreline. Mm -hmm. So the importance of this supply line was absolutely vital. Hmm. When the supply line was cut by a joint, America, a joint British and Indian attack force and that was severed, Detroit, its days were numbered. I by, see. by the time Detroit surrendered, a uh, barrel of flour in Detroit was selling for $50, and in $50, that's like $500 in today's money. Hmm. So they were in siege mode, basically, mm -hmm. with the British literally on their doorstep across the river and the Indians at their backs in the woods. Wow. And so all the things that they would have needed, men, munitions, supplies, everything to withstand a siege, was all stuck down in Frenchtown. 